So there was a there was a moment this week while we're at the World Series of Bowling here where we bowled four days, um, and the first three didn't go so well, and you made a Facebook post. I did. Kind of about <laughs> the mentality you were in and yeah. hoping something worked or whatever, and the very next day, uh, you made the cut. You qualified in the top 16 out of 195 bowlers, and that's incredibly difficult to do. What was that uh, What was that change like? What What happened um, from day to day, from the not success to the success? It was, it was nothing really that changed. I mean, physically I didn't change, mentally I didn't really change. It was just, I think the pattern changing, me knowing what's going on with that pattern a lot more, my shape's just being better overall. Um, I think finally I was able to get my ball to strike more, which is an actual skill, striking. Like, yeah, oh, you absolutely. have to figure oh, yeah, out yeah. how to get your ball to strike. So yeah. it's like... Especially at this level, you know. Spares are important, but they don't cut it. <laughs> no, they don't. You need that five bag with them, spares, so... But, uh, yeah, I just, I, I know, even going on, even past this week, even though I made the cut, I have a ton to learn in that aspect where I need to make sure I know how to get my ball to strike on every single pattern and strike consistently. And that was my big issue for the first three days was double nine, strike nine, nine, nine. And that last day was, you know, a lot of strength. So I kept my speed under control, kept my footwork under control, kept everything. I handled everything I could possibly handle, and it worked out. So... I'm gonna hope it works out for for the next one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Zeke, I, I watch you a lot, and we bowl a lot of tournaments together, and uh, I, I admire your mindset. And one uh, time, especially that, you know, I was extremely impressed with your first TV show, The Double Show with uh, Dick Allen. I, oh, that was your first show. Uh, I just I was amazed by how dialed in you were. You know, a lot of people get stage fright; they say how hard it is to be on the TV show for the first time. But you were just dialed in. Can you explain to us? know what you were going through at that time? Yeah, that whole performance was a lot of preparation beforehand. I mean, it was a lot of mental imagery for years and years and years. So like, you're going to get there, so when you get there, you should act like this and be like this. And, you know, when it was starting to get real, like when I was like, oh, I'm actually going to be on a TV show. This is going to be really cool. Like, that was my whole thing was, this is going to be cool. So why get nervous and mess it up? Like, why struggle to, to, right. to execute shots when you can, that's, that's a wasted opportunity. So to me, when I'm when I got myself there, I'm like, okay, I gave myself an opportunity. Now I have to take complete advantage of this, like I've been planning on this entire time. And when I got to the show that day, I stayed calm, listened to music. I went and danced outside actually for like 10, 15 minutes. It just got got the excess energy out of my system. Uh, the very first shot was a good measuring tool for how fast my pace needed to be because I didn't know when how my body was going to quite feel because you never do. I mean, it's lights. It's TV, so it's real. So, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you never know how you're going to quite feel. But when I, when I threw the first shot, I was like, okay, so this is how my body feels. And then I was able to adjust after that shot. And in the second shot, uh, I felt everything I needed to feel. And I was like, we're good. Dang and that man. was just, I mean. So it sounds like uh, you just had a lot of self-awareness as well. Yeah. I mean, it just seems like you really listened to your body. You were aware of the situation. I think that's what the bright lights can bring is, you know, you just lose track of what you need to be con uh, concentrating on, and you didn't do that. You executed to a T. I I mean, you were packing the day and night. I'm in. Awesome to watch. Thank you, man. You yeah. mentioned you mentioned dance, and and we we know what bowling means to you. But, but what does dance mean to you? Is it anything different? Uh, dance is a lot to me in, in a different way, definitely, because it's definitely the creative outlet. It's the you know where I can really visualize music, because that's what dance is to me. It's a visual interpretation of the song you're listening to. So like some people. Dude, just like, oh, look, there's like three minutes of really cool moves. But for me, I want to see, I want to make you see a song from start to finish in movement. Whether that's peaks and valleys of the song, whether that's tempo breakdowns, eighth, fifth beats, whatever, whatever. I just want you to be able to see it and connect with it. So that's my dance style. And that's what dancing means to me is I can take a song, understand it as far as what the artist is saying sonically and lyrically, and then interpret that in movement. So that's what dance means to me. 